right, what's up guys? So, just gonna make this real quick, easy. So it's been a week since we came back from our trip. It was fun, we had a blast. It was just, I don't know, I'd have to cut down on a lot of gear, or maybe I think that we need more than we actually do. It was fun, we had a blast. But the gear, when we were leaving, it was just like, where the whole time we were there, I just kept on looking around and I was like, fuck. We have so much shit we don't use all the time. Like, we use some of it, which is cool. But then for the most part, it's like, you could do without it, like, uh, yeah, I can't explain it. Just like random shit, like usually on trips we have this collapsible bucket, and that's what we use to wash and do everything with. And then having the river right there, and then having the Reliance Rhino Pack, it was just kind of, all three do the same thing. So, I mean, we use all three, but... I mean, if we didn't have two of the three, we could have done with one. So, you know, you get me? It's kind of like having three of something that you don't need. Because we washed it in the river, and then we just got lazy from walking to the river, and then we used the bucket for like a day. And then towards the end, we're like, fuck it, we'll just use a reliance pack and just empty it out. So, I don't know. I just gotta figure out a way to minimize and take less and just enjoy it. But yeah, so I wanted to review the. Rebel Gear USB light. I think it's badass. It's bright. It has different modes. The only thing I saw that after you have it on for a while, it starts to fade down by itself and eventually shut down. And it had nothing to do with the USB power. The, all the USB powers we took were fucking completely charged. It just kept on doing it whenever it wanted. But yeah, that's the only downside too. That you need to like have a really good USB power pack because. I would say with the, with like the cheaper ones that we have, it lasted about two, three hours. And then when I left it on with a really good one, that thing stayed on all night. So, you know, it's cool because especially there, like it's a dispersed campsite. So you will have people show up in the rent, like middle of the night and walk around your shit as carry. I've had that happen a couple times, but you know, if you light up where you are and people can see where you're staying at, they'll for the most part kind of stay away. So that's what we kind of did. So I don't know if you guys, if you, as you guys can see in the video, it's bright. It let people know we were there, but it wasn't annoying. That's what I really like about it. Usually you have like neighbors that will have some kind of badass USB LED light, and the whole night you're trying to sleep and you can still see it. Like it's not to that point, which was kind of cool because there were some assholes and some jeeps behind us. They had the whole rooftop tent set up and everything, and as I was sleeping, I got to take a piss, and they had those fucking fancy new spotlights that are solar powered. And those shits are bright. I mean, I'm not hating, those things are badass as fuck. But if you're gonna leave them on all night, like, come on, like, there's people sleeping behind you, that's gonna bug the shit out of you. Like, you're not in the fucking middle of the wilderness where you're, you need to keep shit away. Like, come on, you're on fucking Route 99 right by the street. So, yeah, those lights are badass. I really recommend them. This isn't a sponsor, they didn't want to sponsor me because talk a lot of shit but I like their products so you know I'm real I'm gonna I really like their products so I'll give it how can I rate my stuff I'll give it four out of five middle fingers there we go that's perfect so yeah it was beautiful lights awesome easy to work with Layla had fun changing the modes and changing the settings so those were cool um what else but yeah, overall the trip, it was fun, it was cool. Like we didn't do as much as we really wanted to just because the like, heat was just brutal. Like usually we leave shit, go to Lake Isabella, have a blast, go into town for a bit, have some beers, and then drive back and just, you know, hang out and enjoy um, the greener side of things and just how beautiful it is out there. But yeah, this time the heat was just brutal and the heat really got to Layla. It kind of sucked because you could just see it in her cheeks and she already runs hot as it is. So, plus the heat, it was like 100, it was like 102 and then it said it felt like 140. If that makes sense. Which I kind of don't believe it, but that's what my phone said. But yeah, um, overall it was fun. Like I said, it was hot as shit. But for the most part, we just wanted to stay in the water and hang out. Which I will say, this is one of the first trips where we actually like got in the water and like fully wet and submerged because usually the current is fucking 
freezing and current is always raging. And this trip just happened to be perfect weather and perfect river, it was calm. I mean, it had its parts, but for the most part we stayed out, it was calm, it was nice. You could get in there without getting swept away. But yeah, it was a cool trip. We had fun. Well, me and my wife are planning on probably doing a one night, maybe weekend trip, just us and leaving Layla with my mom. Lately she's been wanting to sleep over with mom, so she can sleep over and then we'll go do our thing in the desert. I don't know, we're thinking about either going up to the desert, up to Lido Creek, maybe find a yellow post site. I don't know, just some are fun, some are cool, some are different. And we want to do a trip where it's just me and her. Drink, hang out, have a good time. Like I said, enjoy the greener side of life out there. Yeah. Just, you know, have a good time and just have you know, just some adult time as, yeah, yeah, some adult time in the woods. That'd be fucking fun and shit. But yeah, if we want to do that. I don't know when it's going to happen, but that'll be a cool video because if anything, we can get shit faced and do a Q&A. That'd be pretty badass. But yeah, we had a blast this trip. Like I said, I wanted to review the Rebel gear. Uh, I wanted to talk about the gear that we took. I really have to like downsize. It helps having the rack. This is a problem I always have. So if you have this much space, you gotta figure out, like a, like a backpacker, you gotta figure out how to get all your shit into the backpack. We drive a big ass Bronco, so obviously we have more space. So we're like, all right, cool, this is nicer, let's load it up and everything. Now we have a roof rack. So now we wanna roll up the roof rack too. So the more room you have, the more you feel like, oh, I can take this and you know, it won't mind. But you don't think about that when you're packing it up, but then when you're packing it back in to leave, oh, fuck, man. Unless you take a picture, and unless you're really like into Tetris, you're not gonna get it back in the way you take it out. And that's what sucks, is I felt bad when boy Rick, he was waiting for us, and he, they were just hanging out, they were just done. And then we had so much more extra shit, and I told them all that, bro, you can head out, like, we're gonna be a while. And it sucks, because, yeah, once they headed out, like, we were there for like another 10 minutes just trying to get everything loaded up, and. I had to stop at a trash can, throw some shit away, empty out our trash room, and then and then finally had to like, like where usually it's not like that. Usually, I've noticed that as we go more on trips, we're starting to take a lot more shit, which that needs to stop because it's getting annoying. But yeah, um, another thing I want to bring up is thank you for everybody for the feedback on the Toyota video. You know, like I'm not like I said, I'm not here to bash anybody. I'm not here to talk shit, whatever you like, fuck it, go do it. I'm just saying that's not for me, and I wanted to clear that up, because right away, I'll meet people and they'll be like, oh, you're that Toyota guy that hates Toyotas and whatever. And I had a lot of people come with like super energy on the messages, and then when I see you at meets, the energy is completely gone. So, you know, I'm a nice guy. People know me, I'm a nice guy, like, I, I have fun. But at the same time, I will, I like confrontation. I really do. So if you're gonna talk shit on the DMs, I'm just saying when you see me, that same energy better be there. Cause you have four seconds to either say hi or, I don't, I don't, I don't wanna say we're gonna dance cause that's kinda fruity, but yeah, we're gonna dance. But yeah, anyways, so we had a fun, it was a fun trip. Layla had a blast. Besides the heat, once she got used to it and kind of like got comfortable in the water, then we started having a lot of fun. And then once Ricky got there, she fucking loves Ricky, so they had a blast playing. Ricky is my buddy's Rick's uh, son. So shout out to them. Fucking awesome family. You guys should go follow them. It's at Tahoe.Adventures. I'll post it right here. But yeah, um, camping was fun. It was a short update. I know it's what, like 10 minutes already, so I'll try to like condense it maybe or am i just put it up like this raw well i don't know we'll see but overall yeah uh so what's next is go over the gear most of the gear we already took to the warehouse so we need to go into the warehouse and really start throwing shit away too and it'll help us out when we move again so that way we don't have to take as much shit so i need to fix the gear we need to get either a bigger tent or like one of those my buddy has one of those canopy slash tent things combined and that's just badass because the room's perfect but at the same time i was thinking like 
when you have that, you either have a canopy or you're telling you can't have both at the same time. So, I don't know. We might just get another little shitty smaller canopy that we can have that one out all day and then use our 10 by 10 for the tent. So we'll see. But yeah, so that's next. As far as the truck, uh, it's running perfect right now. I really don't want to add anything. I don't want to do a lift yet. And that's another thing I want to talk about. So, so the lift eventually will come. But a lift one of those things where I really want to be ready and I really want to invest the money into it. I don't want to just get whatever lift just because I need a lift, which I don't right now. I feel like every trail we've gone on is done perfect. Well, besides Lido Creek, once you get towards the back end, it wouldn't make it through. But besides that, any trail we've been on, we've had a blast. Like desert, like especially since we live in the desert or since I love the desert. This shit is beautiful in the desert. I love this thing. This thing smashes. So. I don't know. Eventually it will get a lift, but I want to do it right. I want to get new Q80s in the back. I want to do full on like either mid travel or just say fuck it and go long travel. I kind of want to be somewhere between like Overlander camper slash meets, not Baja so much, but like some desert. But like, a, like a, I don't know, like a little baby raptor would be perfect. But yeah. So yeah, that's our trip had a blast that's the rebel light for you i really recommend it they're not paying me to say this they don't even like me but i will review their stuff because it came through i don't know if you guys can sorry this new mic is weird and the dead cat makes it sink a lot so i don't know if you guys can feel a little hair it's too but yeah uh, good light really put in work we didn't really get to test out the smitty build thing but Probably next week we'll go to the desert and then I'll put it out so we can have some fun. Yeah, uh, the AC, AC came through this trip a lot. Uh, Layla knocked out one of the trips and then I mean one of the trips into town to get ice and it just feels so good to just see her not sweat and sleep and comfortable like during the day in a fucking 100 degree weather. So that was pretty cool. But yeah, overall good trip. We had a blast. Um, this weekend probably hit the desert just for a trial or something me and my wife will probably do a overnight stay somewhere um i'll film that too that'll be funny and then yeah so thanks for watching thanks for all the support thanks for all the hate mail uh, and when you see me same energy please and then everybody like this fuck with us from the beginning thank you appreciate the subscribers appreciate all the likes appreciate you get all the good feedback uh we're trying to get better and better uh, this camera's helped out a lot, but I feel like quality-wise gotten a little better. I need to do something with this mic, because I don't know if you guys can hear me as well as uh, the 4. The 4 has a hell of a mic. This one has a little weird mic, and then hopefully this other mic kind of helps. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you like. Subscribe. Give it a, yeah. Hit that little bell so you guys can know when we're on. Um, I'm going on 14 minutes already, so I'm gonna try to cut this down. If maybe I don't know, maybe I just might upload the whole 14, and you know, you guys have something to do. You guys can did I cuss a lot? You guys can take a shot every time I cuss. I don't think I cuss that much this time. Fuck shit. So yeah, have a good one. Have a have a good Sunday. Um, yeah, thank you for watching. I'll walk you around the truck right now, see how it is right now after our trip. Um, yeah, peace out.